at last we meet for the first time for the last time. Have you ever been evading laser blasts and needed to change your course of action? Well, in this video, we'll show you how to change directions by changing from fail safe to fail secure. Hi, I'm Grizz with the Turnstile Crew here at Avant Garde. We bring you the best tips, tools, and products to keep your organization secure and up and running. If you find this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to learn more. We also love hearing your suggestions and questions in the comments. As in our other videos, the first thing we wanna do is turn off power to our Hayward HT431 full height turnstile. For ease of access, we're gonna to wanna to remove the top plate in order to gain access to our solenoids and our lock arm bracket. So first, we will remove and disconnect the solenoids. We'll remove the micro Schwartz activator. and remove the top channel. For this setup, we've got a fail safe and a fail secure solenoid. And we are going to swap these positions, making this a fail safe and a fail secure solenoid. So in order to do that, first we'll remove the fail secure solenoid. We'll remove the plunger from the lock arm. So this is the fail secure position. This is the fail safe position. Fail secure, fail safe. Install it into the fail safe position. Install your spring on your plunger. and then line up your fail safe position here. And tighten down your solenoid bracket. Moving to the other side, changing this solenoid from fail safe to fail secure. We'll first remove the solenoid in its bracket. Setting it to the side. We'll remove the plunger from the lock arm. And again, this is the fail safe location on the lock arm. This is the fail secure position on the lock arm. And we'll reattach the plunger to the lock arm. And then slide the plunger Back in the bracket, lining up our fail secure orientation. With those reversed and tightened down all the way, you're going to want to test your lock arms that they move freely and retract freely and that they're not in any kind of bind. That done, we'll reattach our top plate and our Micro Schwartz activator. Reconnect our solenoids. One last change for a fail safe configuration. The solenoid's gonna need to be on normally closed. So this wire that's on normally open is going to get moved over to normally closed. And then on this side, you're gonna move the 
yellow wire, which is on normally closed in C, over to normally open in O. And then we're gonna power on. I'll be right back. And test for Operation. If you need on-site service from one of our turnstile specialists, please contact our service department. If you feel like your turnstile is beyond repair, check out the link in the description for a list of full height turnstiles that are typically in stock at Avant Garde. Hopefully you found this information useful. If so, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. If you have suggestions, please leave those in the comments below and feel free to message us anytime. Thanks for tuning in to the Turnstile, guys. We'll see you next time.